Okay, today we're doing a repair on a 2009 Ford FG. It's actually a ute. Now the owner's complaint is that it's jumping out of uh, top gear going fourth to third. It's a four-speed transmission. I'm just back from a road test. It will actually select into first gear at about 75 k's. So just briefly, I've just ratcheted it over into performance or sports mode, and it will actually select into first gear. Uh, that's one thing. Another thing I noticed was that there's a probably about a three or four second delay when you select reverse. Now I'm just going to do a stall test on it. Sometimes that'll also give you an indication of what where the problem areas are. Handbrake on, foot hard on the brake. We're going to start off in reverse. We're in reverse. Accelerator right down to the floor. There is a tiny little flutter there. Back in in neutral. Let the hot oil circulate through the transmission again. And now we're going into drive. We're going to do the same. We're going up to about two and a half thousand revs there. Back in the neutral, let it circulate through. Important not to do it for too long. You can do damage from overheating heat created in the torque converter there. We'll do a quick scan there. Ignition on. No faults on the generic scan, so we'll just go to the vehicle specific scan. Get out of there. A few codes there. We'll see what that one is. Just going through the self test there. to use the other scanner. Okay, we've got the scanner on. No codes on the generic.
Right, so I'm in the manual there, and you can see with the stall test, should be around the 2 1. And what's happening with ours is it's pulsating a little bit in, uh, in reverse. And you can see down here we've got both drive and reverse are less than the standard value. Uh, insufficient engine output, which means that the, the motor is a bit sad. Or the uh, torque converter clutch, sprag clutch, or the one-way clutch is slipping. And what we've got is drive that's higher than standard. We've got about two and a half thousand revs. So line pressure is low, which means worn transmission, internal pressure leaks. Uh, one of your clutches could be slipping or not getting enough pressure to apply it properly or the clutches are glazed, or a one-way clutch is slipping, not locking up. In reverse, we've got, if, if that was higher than the value, low line pressure, and if it's higher, it can also be one of the brakes or clutches are slipping and malfunction of the associated sprag clutch. If both drive and reverse are higher than normal or standard. You've got the line pressure's low, oil leak in each circuit range. So what we've got, we've got the stall test, it's a little bit high in drive. The revs are pulsating in reverse and they're a bit low. We've got a delay in reverse, selecting reverse. And in sport shift, the manual first, it will go into first gear at 75 kilometers an hour. So now we've done all those checks, we can take the pan off. And one other thing we could check before we take the pan off is the fluid level. It doesn't appear to have any oil leaks anywhere. Good idea to just take the plug off and just make sure we've got enough fluid in there. Okay, we've got the pan off and you can see it it just looks fairly straightforward there. The oil condition is a little bit dark and there is a slight, slight burnt smell. And we've got the pan off here and you can see the magnet is completely covered in that fine metal. And this is where the whole opening is on the filter where it's sucking the oil through. So you can see that there's a lot of accumulation there of fine metal as well. So we've just had the owner over and shown them what we found and he's opted for a reconditioning of his transmission. Now you can see the neck on the torque converter is really gouged out. When you see that happen you want to definitely check your uh, drive plate or flex plate. Make sure um, the thrust bearings on your crankshaft aren't buggered that would cause the whole crankshaft to move in and out. Make sure that where the torque converter sits in the crankshaft there hasn't been damaged or gouged out. And that's what sits on the or in the crankshaft there. Sometimes these welds break as well and then there's nothing to sort of hold everything central. Now, I should have filmed this before I knocked it out, but you can see where it's been running on the torque converter. It's really gouged out on one side, which is the, the lower side or the gravity side of the, um, of the transmission. Um, to get these out, they're, they're tapped right in up to that step, so you've got to actually find where the join is and just tap it out to form the bush so it loosens and then you can tap it out and if you have a look on this pump um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera there is a little step there so it's actually worn where that uh, the driven pump gear runs this is the driven one and the drive one's connected to your crankshaft or via the torque converter you can see that it's worn right in there as well. 
So these DSI VTR transmissions, they've got a tiny little pump drive and that's probably the most common failure there. You lose a lot of the lubrication uh, pressure coming from the pump and then you get issues in the transmission like that. I've got the C3 clutch there which is the one that's applied in reverse and I don't know if you can see that I'll get the right angle of it but there's a tiny hairline crack right around to about there and these are fairly common to crack crack there and basically apart from that pump being worn uh, the bushings in this transmission I've replaced a few of them, so I've started putting it all back together. I've got the rear planetary in there. And I'm just waiting on a, another piston. I thought I had a spare one, but I um, didn't have one in the box, so we've got to wait for that. Torque converter's arrived, and I'm going to have to source another pump. You can see the sort of the metal that was in the in the pan and in the filter there. Anyway, hope that's shown you a li little bit more uh, what can cause these sort of issues. Hope that's helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if any information has helped you, I'd appreciate you throwing me a couple of beers. Thank you for watching.